Hello my dear students, today I am here to teach you the selection lesson, right? Uh, so this is the 10th lesson, lesson number 10 in your textbooks according to the grade 6 syllabus. By studying this lesson, you will be able to separate items in a collection into groups and also you will be able to identify what are the common characteristics of that group right so this is very interesting lesson right and very important lesson so let's move to the lesson now so I'm just going to take the, some examples for you so you can be very easily understand those examples so we know that most of the things in our world right most of the things we are daily using or most of the things so we know we can separate into the groups right we can separate into the groups so let's take an example right so let's take the first example right Lamine? so just consider the examples right so i will show you three examples to identify the selection lesson so this is my first example right so i have some animals together right so dog lion parrot deer and the tiger there are so many animals now just think about the common characteristics of this animal can you separate into two groups my dear student can you separate into two groups so what are what are them animals and birds right so what are them animals and birds quickly so i'm just going to move that dog into the separate group and the lion and tiger and deer right so there is only one animal more a horse also there right so i'm going to separate those animals into one group right so what is the second one right so what is the second one birds birds right quickly so parrot and the right hen and crow yes and the pigeon so those animals are birds so what are the two categories so what are the two separate categories in this picture animals and birds right animals and birds so you need to identify the common characteristics and you can separate into groups and also you can give the names as well four-footed animals right what is the name of that group four-footed animals right and birds very easy lesson now very interesting lesson right so very easy you need to identify the what are the characteristics and you can separate into groups so that is the lesson shall i move to the next one i'm just moving to my second example right uh, in this example i will show you some electronic devices basically there are two electronic devices what are they basically there are two electronic devices what are they huh yeah you know that one so we can categorize into two categories what are them laptops and the smartphones laptops and the smartphones right so we can categorize into two categories what are them laptops and the smartphones laptops and the smartphones very easy two groups laptop is the first group smartphone is the second right okay so i'm just moving to the third example now Ah, in this sea, so there are some foods, right? Cabbage, then banana, mango, apple, right? So grapes, huh? very delicious, right? So can you identify what are the groups we can separate into? What are the groups? Just think, just think, what are the groups? Huh? Right, vegetables and fruits. So cabbage, so we can create into vegetables. And pumpkin can move to the vegetables group and also the carrot. So are the banana and the mango, apples and grapes, those are we can categorize as fruits. Right? Those are fruits. So how many, how many groups are there? 
vegetables and fruits. How many groups are there? Vegetables and fruits. Right, okay. So I'm just moving to the uh, next example. Right, right. Uh, so actually I have taken that one from your textbook, right? Bus, sheep, lorry, motorboat, three-wheeler, motorcycle, jet, helicopter, and the sailboat, right? So just think, Lamai. So you can categorize into two categories, wheeled vehicle or non-wheeled vehicle. So what are the wheeled vehicle? What are the examples for wheeled vehicle? Bus, lorry, motorcycle, three-wheeler, those are wheeled vehicles. Other vehicles are non-wheeled vehicles, right? But I'm going to categorize it into three categories. What are they, my dear student? Vehicles on the land. So what are the vehicles on the land? Bus, very easy, three-wheeler, right? Motorcycle and the lorry. So those vehicles are on the land. So what is the second one? Vehicles on the air, jet and the helicopter. Last one, vehicles on water. So vehicles on water. So what are the examples for that one? Sailboat, ship, and the motorboat, right? So you can clearly see the examples, right? So you need to identify the characteristics and you can divide into groups and you can name that group. So that is the lesson, right? Am I clear to you? Right. Hope this one is very clear to you. So let's move to the next session. Right. Now in this example, so you can see some numbers, right? Uh, so there are so many numbers in the box, right? So let's see the two, three, five, eight, eleven, four, seven, nine, and six. Those numbers, that one is very easy. Then you can see some numbers like that two, eight, four, and six. Those numbers are uh, so we can divide it by two without a remainder, right? So, what are the common characteristics of that one, right? So, we can divide by two without remainder, without a remainder. So, that we call that an even numbers, right? So, even numbers that means two and eight and four and six two eight four six those numbers are even numbers so we can categorize it into two categories right even numbers you know the other one you know the other one so what's the next one odd numbers even numbers and odd numbers so what are the odd numbers three five 11, 7, and 9, right? 2, 8, 4, 6, those numbers, right? So we can, those numbers can be divided by 2 without a remainder. But this one, we can't divide by 2, there is a remainder, right? So these numbers are called as odd numbers. Those numbers are even numbers. So we can clearly see, so we can identify the characteristic. So we can separate into the two groups, in the even numbers and also the odd numbers. Let's move to the next example. Right, so look at the new example of mine. So I have a circle, in that circle so I can see some different uh, letters and the numbers, right? So I can take, so I can divide into two groups. What are them? Letters, letters in this collection, right? Letters in this collection and digits. So what are the digits in this collection? Letters and digits, right? So that one is very easy. Uh, what are the letters? So you can clearly see, so what are the letters? A then K, letter D also there, and T, and letter P. So are there any letters? Yeah, M also there. Right? So those are the letters. What are the numbers? We can take 5 
and 4 and 7 then 6 3 and 9 right so we can clearly divide into two groups so what are the letters in this collection and the digits in this collection very easy right so I think this one is very clear for you right so we can move to the next one right so my dear student so I will give you the activity right for you you need to try to do this one so you can see in that box so there are so many numbers and the fractions right so uh, there are so many numbers and fractions are there so what you need to do just try to divide it into four groups this is the last activity just try to divide it into four groups right so you need to identify the characteristics and uh, just try to divide it into four groups right so i will help you so you can take uh, now you know about the fractions as well so you can uh, take unit fractions and the proper fractions and uh, so what are the other things right so you can take multiples of 5 like that just try to separate into how many groups 4 groups you, you need to carefully look at the numbers and the fraction just identify the characteristics and you need to try to separate into 4 groups right just try to do that one this, act, this is the activity so I have given for you right so my dear student this is the summary so this is the end of this session uh, selection lesson right so look at the summary a collection of items having certain characteristics can be separated into groups based on their characteristics right not only that so we learn that so group of item having common characteristics can be named can be named based on their common characteristics so very easy lesson hope this one is very clear to you right so this is the end of the lesson selection so let's move to the new lesson that is lesson number 11 right thank you very much see you in the new lesson